in Fangraph's Zips projections, based on the 60-game season, the Yankees' playoff chances went down 31.2%, and their championship chances went down 9.5% since late February when it was based on 162-game season. Both of those decreases are the highest in baseball. Meanwhile, the Mets' playoff chances went down 16.7%. That's the fifth biggest decrease in baseball. And their title chances went down just 0.5%, but that's the sixth biggest decrease in baseball. Let's talk about the Yankees first. Those are drastic, Anthony. Do you agree with them? I do. I mean, I think any major, you know, title contender in a 162-game span this year, their odds are going to go down because it's a much shorter season and their odds of missing the playoffs, they just drastically go up just due to the nature of baseball. The other team in the NL that had the highest odds, the Dodgers, they don't have near the division, um, you know, type of uh, uh, caliber opponent as the Yankees do, and they're going to be playing the, they're going to be playing the AL West. Now, AL West is pretty solid, but compare that to the AL East versus the NL East. That's the big one, and that's tough for the Yankees to have to navigate. Yeah, I assume it's for all the reasons that Anthony cited, and just like the smaller the sample, the greater potential there is for randomness. Because obviously there's nothing worse about the Yankees uh, because of this situation than there would have been otherwise. In fact, uh, they obviously, as we discussed, benefit from getting guys back. Like Aaron Judge would have missed half a season in theory, and he's not necessarily going to. You're not losing Aaron Hicks for one game. Uh, Paxton and so on and so forth. The Yankees are actually fortified and stronger because of the 60-game season. But, of course, with only 60 games, it's not – you can't assume that the best teams are going to rise to the top with the randomness involved. Andy, what do you think about the Mets' projections? I don't understand how the Mets are any better or worse off under these circumstances. I think they're a solid team, uh, bubble playoff team. I can, I can continue to think of them as that, and I don't – really see they don't have major injury issues sorting out one way or the other regarding this shortened season so to me I think of the Mets the way I've always thought of them like if things break right they'll make the playoffs I very much agree with Andy and this is a team who showed us at the end of the year last year they can get hot and they can win a lot of games and they can scare some people and with Jacob deGrom at the head of this pitching rotation and maybe one or two other starters, Stroman or, or Mats or even one of the other two, Walker or Porcello, all they need is one of those guys to get hot at the right time. One of those guys. And you've got two solid starting pitchers going into the postseason if they can get there. Again, we said they have the tough division. They have to play the AL East tough division. But all, with all that stuff aside, this is a team that can get really hot and I think has a great shot now, a better shot than they might have. Maybe not necessarily to make the playoffs because that might be a crapshoot, but to win it. I think they have a better shot now. 